We learn about reptiles. Sharks don't always eat people. Hedgehogs don't like being like touched when they're tired. I learn um, that the mammals don't lay eggs. I'm the education officer. Um, basically, I give talks, workshops, presentations to school groups when they come to Chessington on a range of things. Um, the workshops we have on offer are um, animal-based workshops, so we, we might look at animal habitats, um, food chains, conservation of different animals, um, interdependence and adaptation, all of those sorts of things. Animals and all creatures like that are just wonderful because the children are animated, they're keen, they want to tell you things and they just chat away and you're able to work on their vocabulary, work on their thinking skills. What's the same about all birds? That they all have wings. They do all have wings? They all have beaks. They do? Well, I love snakes. Good, well, I'm glad because you guys are going to get very close and personal with Ooh. Isabel. With young children you need as much hands-on as you can because um, they learn so much by what they see and what they touch and what they can really get, you know, get to know well through uh, playing with them. So she's cold-blooded, but I think she feels fairly warm, actually. She's not as cold as you might expect a reptile to be. They were asking questions. Um, they wanted to know more and more. Uh, it's up to the teachers really, sometimes they'll take them off with them and actually use them on park, other times they might take them back to school and they'll use them to refer back to about what they learnt when they were here. The children loved it, um, they were able to see, we, very, we were looking at the jungle creatures so when we went round the cats they were able to see quite close the size of creatures and that is something that a child will never get from a picture or from the television. So when we went to the Sea Life Centre, um, the children were sort of amazed at the size of, of say, the rays um, and the way they move in the water and they could see how that they swum um, was use, you know, using different elements than they have. You know, children, when they are swimming in the sea, they're not able to swim in the same sort of way. And the fact, again, the movement of things like the starfish, that sort of thing makes all the difference to the experience. We've chosen to go there um, or the school's chosen to go there for the last couple of years and again this year.